Flophouse so. fans, write in, <laughs> weigh in on this subject. Am I crazy paranoid? Podcast at gmail dot com. Is that's that a, crazy? That's that's another <laughs> another vague contest from the floppers. <laughs> <laughs> no rules, no prizes. <laughs> bad bad movie. And, but I but I did like in some way, and by which I mean liked completely. Seeing you guys not enjoy it. Why don't you uh, out there in listener land? Why don't you call up your friends and be like, "Hey, I got a great movie to show you guys. This is going to be so you're going to love it. We're going to have a great hear- movie night. We're going to pop up some popcorn, have some beers. Will Smith's in it. Wow. It's probably like Bad Boys Three. I hear it's really campy. And then <laughs> and then excuse yourself to go to the restroom and go hide behind your one way mirror. Two way mirror. Watch the yeah, one way would be weird. <laughs> yeah. Go behind your one way mirror and just stare at the backing because you can't see through it. <laughs> and just imagine what it's like in that room with them not enjoying themselves. Listening, oh. occasionally giggling to yourself, then and go, rubbing your hands together. Yeah, like a scheming well, what, miser in a different story. Is it, then go over to your portrait with the cutout <laughs> eyes and look from side to side so the audience at home can tell you're looking through the portrait. Occasionally accidentally knocking over a beer bottle. Yeah. <sighs> oh, seven pounds. Seven pounds. It was like seven pounds of crap in a two pound bag. Yep. Man. Listeners, send us some letters. Tell us what you think. What's that address again? Uh, the uh, Ray Elliott for not letting us watch Beverly Hills Chihuahua for the fourth week. We can in watch row. it next time. <laughs> the Flophouse Podcast. Why do, want, why do you want to watch Beverly Hills Chihuahua so badly? At gmail.com. Uh, I just want to see what's going on with that Chihuahua. <laughs> I bet he gets into adventures, scrapes, and and dog based comedies are always funny. <laughs> no, they're not. Beethoven, Beethoven second, Abel Ferrara's Beverly Hills Show. Now that's a movie to see. Harvey Keitel just driving up to the dog and masturbating, and then driving <laughs> away. You got uh, Harvey Keitel doing other gross things. Sounds great. I did not really enjoy the movie, but I and I would not recommend it. But it's not. It's less than ninety minutes long, and it zooms by really fast. Mm. And compared to Seven Pounds, it's fucking the Seventh Seal. <laughs> you know, it's not an offensive movie the way I thought it might be. Mm. Unless you're Mexican, in which case it's a very offensive movie. Oh, absolutely! If I was Mexican, I would have uh, shot the, the screen with one of my six guns <laughs> and then wow. shot the shot, shot my uh, my sombrero <laughs> off my own head. If I was dating a woman who already like had a child and the kid was like I can see like, you doing that. Yeah, and the kid was like, "Uh, you know, surrogate daddy, daddy, let's watch a movie." And I'm like, <laughs> "Surrogate's a big word for you." And I'm like, mm, "I don't know about that. A movie." And the kid's like, "Yeah, let's watch Beverly Hills Chihuahua." Mainly. I will say that that gay dog is pretty offensive. <laughs> yeah. But then it just becomes like sort of a like I was saying during the movie, it's sort of on par with I really like, wanted to have sex with that gay dog. <laughs> After the show. <laughs> Stuart Wellington's uncomfortable <laughs> <laughs> confessions. That's happened before, by the way. You're not alone. That you've, you've driven someone to insanity? Yeah, of course. It was through a, it was through a period of gaslighting where I made that person believe they were going insane. Oh, you were gaslighting people for their aunt's jewelry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, now you've exposed me, Elliot. I must slay you. Oh, no. Sword canes at dawn. <laughs> That's a terrible way to do it. Just make it regular swords. No, sword 